Six vitamins to dissolve blood clots in your body. Blood clotting is a normal function in the human body that helps to stop bleeding whenever there's an injury or a wound in your blood vessels. The problem is that sometimes these clots don't dissolve properly and they can break off into your bloodstream. They can then get stuck or wedged in an artery or a vein which can block the normal flow of blood. This is a very big problem because undissolved blood clots can cause deep vein thrombosis in your legs, causing a tightness in your muscles, red skin that feels warm to touch, and the veins can become more visible underneath the skin. A blood clot can also trigger a stroke if it's near your brain, a heart attack if it's in your coronary artery, a pulmonary embolism in your lungs, and a range of other health problems depending on where the clot gets trapped in your vascular system. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a list of the top 6 vitamins to help your body dissolve blood clots naturally and help your blood to flow freely. You'll also be learning about some of the best foods, lifestyle tips and changes that you can make to your diet to prevent thrombosis. Bear in mind, I use the words vitamins very broadly to include minerals, herbs and nutritional supplements that you may use to help dissolve blood clots. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor for a proper diagnosis before using any of these natural remedies. Number 1 is Vitamin E. One of the most important nutrients that helps to dissolve blood clots and prevent heart attacks, strokes or thrombosis is Vitamin E. Life-threatening blood clots often form when the inner walls of your arteries or your veins become damaged or inflamed. However, Vitamin E is a natural antioxidant which can protect against oxidative damage in these blood vessels to prevent the dangerous clots from forming. If you wish, you can take up to 300 mg of Vitamin E in the form called tocotrienols daily. Tocotrienols are part of the Vitamin E complex and they're 50 times stronger than the regular tocopherols that you find in common Vitamin E supplements over the counter. Preferably, you could get your vitamin E from foods such as avocados, sunflower seeds, extra virgin olive oil, hazelnuts, Swiss chard and leafy green vegetables which will all help to thin out your blood and keep it flowing freely and unrestricted. Remedy number 2 is the very fascinating enzyme called natokinase. Now, your body is constantly forming new blood clots and dissolving them every single day of your life especially on the inside of your blood vessels. Unfortunately, however, as we age, we become overweight, we have liver problems or hormonal changes, our bodies begin to struggle to break down these clots. There are some natural enzymes that you can take as a supplement to give your body a helping hand in dissolving these blood clots. For example, you can take 100 mg of natokinase daily in the form of a capsule if you choose. Natokinase is an enzyme that's found in fermented soybeans which has been shown to thin the blood and dissolve the protein called fibrin. This is the material that makes up over 50% of the bulk of a blood clot. You can also get other fibrinolytic enzymes that help to prevent blood clots by eating pineapple which contains bromelain that helps to dissolve the clots. You can get an enzyme called papain from papayas which does the same thing. You can also get a supplement called serapeptase which is extracted from silkworms or lumbrokinase which is purified from earthworms. All of these natural enzymes can help to thin out your blood so please do be careful if you're taking any blood thinning medications and speak to your doctor first. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Moving on now to number 3 which is the Vitamin C complex. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient which we have to consume regularly in our diet from plant based foods like salad leaves, vegetables, berries and fruits. Studies are now showing us that people with a vitamin C deficiency have a higher risk of developing inflammation and plaque inside their arteries which raises the risk of blood clots forming that can block the blood flow triggering a stroke or a heart attack. Vitamin C is important because it strengthens the smooth collagen inside your arteries helping to keep them flexible and the blood flowing normally. 
eating foods like cabbage, sauerkraut, strawberries, bell peppers and cruciferous vegetables is the best way to boost your vitamin C and antioxidant network within your body. Please make sure, however, that you avoid the over-the-counter ascorbic acid supplements, as these contain only 5% of the true vitamin C complex, so they won't give you the same result. If you do decide to take a supplement, make sure that you use a whole fruit powder like acerola cherry, rose hips or camu camu. Number 4 is phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are natural chemicals made by plants, which often act as a natural medicine when humans consume them. So let's take a look at some of the most well-studied phytonutrients that can help to dissolve blood clots. Firstly, we have garlic, which contains allicin, a compound which thins the blood, prevents stiffness in the artery walls, and reduces the risks associated with blood clots. If you don't like to eat garlic, you can take aged garlic extract in a supplement at a dosage of 2400 milligrams per day, and this helps to keep your arteries clear of plaque. Now, capers are often eaten in Mediterranean cuisine, and these are the richest source of quercetin, a phytonutrient that can help to reduce blood clots from forming in the body. And finally, turmeric contains curcumin, which helps to control blood sugars, lowers inflammation in the vascular system, and reduces the chances of a blood clot clogging an artery or a vein. And now we have number 5, which is potassium and magnesium. Potassium and magnesium are the most essential minerals needed to protect your heart, arteries and cardiovascular system. If you have high blood pressure or fluid retention in your body because you're not very active or perhaps you eat lots of starchy or sugary foods, you may be at a higher risk of developing a dangerous blood clot because these conditions put pressure and strain on your artery walls, which causes bleeding, clotting and platelet activation. The best way to prevent these problems is by loading up on foods rich in potassium and magnesium every day, such as leafy greens, kale, broccoli, avocados, brussels sprouts, cabbage, radishes, salmon and pumpkin seeds. However, for an extra boost, you can take an electrolyte powder in the form of potassium citrate and magnesium citrate, which you can just mix and drink in a glass of water every morning. These minerals are essential to reduce swelling, especially in the feet and legs for those of you who have deep vein thrombosis or edema in the feet. And finally, nutrient number 6 is very important and it's cod liver oil. One of the most powerful ways to support overall health as you get older is by taking one tablespoon of virgin cod liver oil on a daily basis. This is one of the healthiest and richest sources of omega-3 fatty acids in the world. These have been shown to lower triglycerides, which are blood fats, and reduce platelets from clumping together and forming harmful blood clots. Omega-3 fats also help to lower blood pressure and relax your artery walls for better blood flow, which also reduces the risk of stroke, thrombosis, heart attacks or an embolism. Alternatively, you can get your omega-3s by simply eating canned sardines, wild salmon, anchovies, mackerel, shellfish and also walnuts. Other ways to dissolve blood clots In addition to using the vitamins and the natural remedies that we've talked about so far, there are also some other simple ways that you can dissolve blood clots naturally. For example, if you smoke anything that contains tobacco or nicotine such as cigarettes, you will want to quit, as these can increase adrenaline and the formation of blood clots. I know it may be difficult if you're addicted, but you can at least try and take some B vitamins as these can help you to relax through the withdrawal symptoms. Dangerous blood clots also form when people are eating too many fast foods and processed foods because these are cooked with inflammatory vegetable oils like soy, canola, cottonseed or corn oils. So start cooking your own healthier meals at home using less processed fats like raw coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil as these will all help to prevent blood clots from forming and they're much healthier than the fast foods. If you're overweight, pregnant, taking birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy, these can all raise up your estrogen which can increase the risk of clots. 
especially when you're sitting down for a long period of time, such as on a plane or a bus, or you're having bed rest. To lower these risks, simply start exercising and moving your body as much as possible to promote better blood flow. If you are on a plane or you're stuck at home, try to stand up and walk around at least once every hour and consider using compression socks for long journeys. It's also recommended to stay hydrated and drinking at least one litre of a bottled water each day as this can prevent your blood from becoming too thick and prone to clotting. Lastly, I'd like to share one final tip with you. If you suffer from hypertension, diabetes, high LDL cholesterol or even chronic stress, you are more at risk of developing a life-threatening blood clot. To minimise this risk, try to eat as cleanly as you can by cutting out starchy, sugary and processed foods and consider following a low-carb diet. I recommend that you eat 2-3 to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast each day to supply B vitamins, especially niacin which can dilate and open up your blood vessels to prevent a blockage or a blood clot. If you are worried that you may have a blood clot, make sure that you speak to your doctor and request a full blood count, a fibrinogen test and a venous ultrasound. If you'd like to learn a little more about unclogging your arteries in relation to plaque, heart disease and cholesterol, go ahead and tap on this video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.